my process is always to experiment. It's always to try out a few different things and, and see what I think is most engaging and to kind of follow a tree. So whenever I make anything, it's always about branching off and branching off and branching off and then and gradually um, selecting from that. Like I try and um, make things instead of cutting off ideas before I see them made physical. And so uh, I react to things physically um, with sight and sound and body and make decisions from that rather than um, trying to sort of not follow an idea because I think it might not work out. I would love to be able to perform or see a performance where perhaps the audience are collectively a part of it because the audience are expressing themselves in a certain way which is fed or, or input into a device which creates a visual experience and, and, and that visual experience doesn't have to be on something flat. It could be something that exists all around us. It could be sound, it could be visuals, it could be, it could be a feeling, it could be a smell. So I'd love to um, way, way in the future see these performances or um, collaborations that are you know, multi-dimensional and experiential and, and play with all the senses and that can be more collaborative. It's a three-sided installation where uh, sort of an interactive forest with a, uh, water, a waterfall flowing through it. And when we had that sort of feeling that you know, the water was like really, felt really like it was real water and you could kind of guide it and d dam it and get it to the trees and you know, you got it to the trees and the trees would sort of bloom and come alive. Like that sort of moment when that, we saw that in, in the actual space. Um, it, you know, even though we knew how it worked for us, it felt like magic at the time, and you know that was that was a yeah, kind of a, sort of the reason why you want to do this stuff because it kind of surprises you, even though that's what you're intending.